too chaotic vlog but with how with how life is lately I, I just don't know if that's possible but we're gonna do our best I actually tried to vlog a couple weeks ago Thanksgiving week ah maybe Wolfie just had a, a scrub daddy in his mouth but I tried to vlog a couple weeks ago and because a lot was going on I thought this would be the perfect time to vlog but then you know when there's a lot going on it's also hard to vlog so that didn't work out, but I do have little things to talk about from that week still. First, let's talk about Boogers, who was after my shoe. He is doing good. He That's what I wanted to vlog about. He went to the vet that Tuesday to get the wound on his back checked, which is pretty much healed now. I think he's good as long as the chip did not move, so that's good. But we took him in, and it was on the same day that we were getting flooring done in the basement. I don't think I talked about this on here, but... I gave up trying to do the flooring myself because it just was not working and I was getting so frustrated. I tried for a couple days and I spent a decent amount of hours trying to figure it out and I don't understand how they have videos and instructions saying so simple, do it yourself, whatever, because every time I would have it lined up on one side, like if I banged it in, well not banged it in, but smacked it in how you're supposed to, it would just pop out the other side and it was driving me nuts. And I didn't want to do the whole thing and then have it look bad. So we called Home Depot. We called Home Depot. They came and did it, which going back to what I said, people making it seem so easy. There were two people. They were here all day. And I hear saws. I hear hammering. I hear like so much noise. And it does not sound simple, easy peasy how people make it seem. So as much as I hate it to be like, I can't do this. It is nice, we have our workout room back now, as you saw a little bit in the video probably. So that was Tuesday of that week. And then Wednesday, which was the day before Thanksgiving, we went to a concert. We went to see Ice Nine Kills, In This Moment, Avatar, and it's supposed to be New Year's Day, but we didn't get there in time for them. We saw a little bit of Avatar, and then it was In This Moment and Ice Nine Kills. We weren't sure who was gonna be first, but Wolfie. Wolfie's trying to go in the trash. But that was a really fun concert. I really like Ice Nine Kills. That was a band that I started listening to this year. Greg really liked them and then, you know, he knows I like all the horror and creepy stuff. So he showed me a couple of their songs and performances and stuff. And they're really good and I'm like obsessed with them now. So they were fun to see. Uh, I'll insert some footage here. It's part of why I wanted to vlog a little bit just to pop in this video because I just want another place to document it so enjoy some concert footage right here
then Thanksgiving I was gonna vlog but it was just chaos again like I said so I do have a little video of the food from the day which everybody agrees that I made too much food everybody told me that I made too much food I thought it was fine at the time but it was a little much I made mac and cheese mashed potato cakes Brussels sprouts, green beans, two types of corn. Cause not everybody likes the same thing. So I try to like have everything that people like. Yams, mashed potatoes. It was a lot. My mom made stuffing and she made the pies. So that was really good. But for Christmas, it's gonna be simpler for sure. But it was a nice day. So yeah, I was just gonna vlog all that but I basically caught you up in like five minutes I think it says so yeah Wolfie's in the sink right now that's his favorite spot I don't know if you can hear him purring but today I am gonna go with my mom and my uncle and my grandmother for like a ride how we used to go just stopping random spots Whoop. and um I haven't gone with them in a long time and I think my uncle said maybe going to Big Lots, which I like Big Lots. I haven't been there in a while. And I kind of want to look at some cat stuff. That's just my life now. It's just cats. It's all cats. I don't know how this happened, but I want to look at some cat stuff. I'd like to look at some decorations and stuff. I don't think I'm really going to decorate too much for Christmas. I don't know if all the cats will be in the living room area by then together. It's It might be safe, but around that time... And hopefully, you know, I'm feeling like by New Year's, everybody should be together and have just the run. So we'll see. Yes, we will see. Wait, right, <laughs> right, Wolfie. I can't even talk right now, but you're so cute. But yeah, so we'll see. It's December 4th and Halloween lights are still up in the living room. So that should be handy probably today or this week too but I just thought I'd vlog because it's been a while and yeah going with them I don't really know if I'm going to vlog too much it's kind of weird I haven't gone with them for a long time he just shut the door I think he shut the door I used to go all the time but then doing the part-time work that I do and now with the cats and other house stuff it is hard but I don't have any work tasks to do today, so I figured, why the heck not? It's been a bit, but I don't know how much I'm going to vlog of that. What are you doing? Okay, I switched locations because I'm in a bit of a hurry. And one thing that has not changed despite all the cat chaos is that I still do not know how to manage time properly. My uncle is going to be here. I think my mom said at 12. I should check that but it's 11.44 right now, and I'm just whipping up this sandwich. I use this lunch meat, which is really good. I can't find it anywhere else other than Wegmans, but I just threw a sandwich together. I'm like, okay, I was just going to have the lunch meat and mustard, and instead I threw on some, well, it's not really that, <laughs> that much. It's not much more interesting, but I threw on some lettuce and avocado because I thought that would just be a little more filling, but this bread is huge, so I think I'm going to be quite full for a while and I added some jalapeno chips. Thought I would leave little girly out while I'll eat my lunch. Maybe I'll give her a snack. <laughs> so you like having the run around the house. You just have to um, be nicer to the kittens. They're your babies, you know? You gotta remember them a little bit. No, we'll get there. Okay, I gotta go eat my sandwich. So update, it's one o'clock and they're on their way now. So I it was really early and I didn't have to eat my lunch that early. I feel like I'm gonna be hot in this. I sweat easy. If, you, if you're not new to this channel, you know I'm a sweater. Pennsylvania cold days, man. You dry out your lips. Got this the other day. So far, I like it. Honest Beauty, they had like tinted ones, but I don't really care. I just want it like chopstick. That's vegan and cruelty free. I think they're here. Gotta get my shoes on. And you know what I need to do when I get back? I need to clean 
the living room because it's like, it's bad. There's laundry everywhere. Greg has stuff piled up there. That's not my doing. There's a cute bear right here. I got that at the grocery store like a long time ago. I just thought it was cute. Um, yeah, Greg has a pile of stuff. I'm always telling McLean it. And he's like, I need everything that's on there. And I'm like, well, it, it looks terrible. But I also have a corner that has a lot of crap. Like camera crap, chargers crap, that kind of crap. So, okay, off we go. All of them, I, I looked. None of them would like to jump up and down. Then when he was all done, he said, You can see you that. Can, no. I can't. Okay, everybody, yeah. let's, <laughs> let's read it however close we can. Stop when you can read it. Well, they had the, the emergency ones around here. Somebody was stuck in the mud. They had to get them out. Caution, soft mud. Don't, go, don't in, go in, you will, you get, will get stuck. stuck. <laughs> well. <laughs> no, I don't think I believe him. Let's try. I feel like you would. Ah! <laughs> no, these are these are clean shoes. <laughs> that sucks. Hey, I can run with this, you know? And it doesn't jostle. Look, I'm running all around mom. It's not jostling. <laughs> <laughs> if I knew we were gonna walk, I would have got my mitten. It's not that cold. I'm quite comfortable today. Hey, the breeze is like a little bit light, but they said, I think tomorrow it's supposed to be windy, actually. I think. Windy? One of the days. Is it tomorrow? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to be editing this video, and I'll have to put fun music over it, and then I'll have to get rid of all this conversation. Oh, you got to keep both of these. <laughs> Do you want to be in my thumbnail? Huh? <laughs> the thumbnail. <laughs> it's cold here. Oh my gosh. I wonder if this is going to like shake because my hand's shaking because I'm so cold. <laughs> I don't know if the, the gimbal's going to work against that. Hey, yo. Where are you going? You leaving? So I'm back from running around with the family and we basically went to Big Lots and to just this one lake area that was pretty much drained so there wasn't really much to see. But I got a couple things at Big Lots I thought I would show. Two things for the cats because you know you can't come back empty handed for cats. But it's kind of interesting, Big Lots, I know it's just kind of like a junky type store but when I was feeling my worst with pots back in the day, that was one of the stores that I would go to with my parents. And and it was also a place where all these YouTube makeup beauty guru people would say they found really good deals on stuff, which now in hindsight, I feel like the makeup there would be a little bit questionable. <laughs> I don't know. But it was a smaller store. That's why it was kind of good for pots because it's not like a mall. It's not huge. But it was small enough that I could walk around without getting too tired. Same with like drugstores, little indoor farmer's market things. We used to go to this one local one and it was just small places. I could just kind of look at things in person, but it would completely do me in. It's a very weird time of life, but Big Lots was one of those places. So I just always kind of look because they have random things that, you know, I don't know, just random things. So, thought I would show you. This is one of the cat toys. It's a little gingerbread people in a gingerbread house. And then I opened this in the car. So I was curious how big it was. And I might cut this off. I don't like that they put these on here. Because they can kind of like wrap themselves around it. So it's a stocking. I thought it was a hat for some reason. But it's a stocking. And it's really big. So it can go in it. I don't seem to care at the moment. But Wolfie likes to come with that. So we'll test that out in a second. But as for me, the human, I got two fun things. One thing that I probably just need and will come in handy. So two fun things are these. I love sour gummy candies specifically, but I got these because I don't I didn't know what foamy gummy foamy gummies. Foamy gummy bears. <laughs> I promise I could talk. 
I didn't know what that meant. Where they're really just kind of like squishy. They're not really foamy. I thought you'd put it in your mouth and it would be like fizzing or like a, what do you call those? Pop rocks? I thought it'd be like that, but it's just kind of like spongy gummies. I didn't try these yet. I probably had like a serving of those in the car because I was very intrigued by them. Oh, I messed this up, I think. I opened up all the doors and they all go in the sunroom, so I guess that's where we're gonna hang, but I'll try one of these. Oh, it tastes like a fruit roll-up. Or it smells like a fruit roll-up. Mm -hmm. Not very sour, more sweet than sour. Hey, you can't have this. We get excited when you can find sour gummies because sometimes they have gelatin in them. I mean, vegan gummies and sour gummies, but sometimes they have gelatin. These have pectin. This lemon, apple, and pineapple. They're not very sour though. They're more sweet. So good. And then I just got some egg replacer. I always use some egg replacer in a lot of recipes. I use it in the meatloaf. That's another thing I made for Thanksgiving, meatloaf. Very good stuff, but meat egg replacer so that was all I got wasn't much but what all right I'm gonna go see if they like their toys you can come along too look in a stocking look check it out and check these out too there you go crinkle it up Head in. There you go. There you go. The biggest of the kittens decides to go in. Oop. They're so big, Jules. I don't think you could fit in there. I don't think it could fit all the way. You like that? Little bugs. Here, wait, we got the whole house. Here, do you want the gingerbread, the gingerbread man? This? The gingerbread man? Do you want a gingerbread man? <laughs> want it? I could take it. Here. Did you buy the peppermint piece? now put everybody back in their spots mitts is in right now she's under the table she just likes to hang out there while i'm in the kitchen and i just called the vet because i was really thinking about this with boogers and i called and i asked if they thought it was really necessary that we bring him in because it's just a checkup like we don't see the vet anytime we go and i asked specifically because i didn't say last time i just said i wanted to make sure that the chip was still there and they said they check every time they bring it in so if it wasn't there they would have said it so I asked if it's okay to hold off on bringing him because he really is healed like it's just skin there's no open wound anymore and he hates going so I said is it okay just to hold off and then if anything else changes I'll call back and they said yeah so tomorrow it's going to be just taking mini mitts and jewels so that'll be a little bit easier and um yeah one less thing and boogers doesn't have to go he didn't even know he had to go but now he doesn't have to go so i'll tell him later and now i'm gonna start working on dinner i think i'm just gonna have a chicken salad because i found this tucked in the back of the freezer the other day and this is really good chicken i like the breaded stuff too but i forgot that i had this so i'm gonna just make a couple pieces of this and then i had the set the lettuce from the sandwich earlier like a top of it there's a decent amount. Like I probably could save it for a sandwich, but I kind of just want to have like a egg salad. So I think I might just throw everything in there and that's going to be my bowl tonight. I'll show you. 
this? Is this too much salad <laughs> or too much lettuce? I don't think so. I'm hungry and it's it's a salad, you know. But I feel like I've had this a little while, so I just kind of want to eat it up. So when I have that, some chicken. I'll put half an avocado in. Basically my sandwich all over again, but not lunch meat and instead chicken. I could cook up some tofu, but I don't really feel like doing that tonight. I also have spaghetti squash that I'm going to make sometime this week. Maybe tomorrow. I don't know. We'll see. Tomorrow's probably going to be a bit hectic, but maybe I'll try to vlog it. I feel like my vlogs are either really short or really long, and I feel like this one is already kind of veering on the long road. So we will see. I'm going to throw this salad together and we'll see what I can come up with. Definitely not going to eat the whole thing because this is a lot, but it's lettuce, chicken, tomato, carrots. <sighs> what else I throw in here? Some Kalamata olives, some macadamia nuts, some pine nuts. I'm going to leave out the avocado because there's enough in here. And I just drizzled it with some mayo and some sriracha. Oh, and cucumber. I see a cucumber like hanging on the top of the <laughs> container. So yeah, definitely not gonna eat this all. I'll probably have half and then I'll have half tomorrow for lunch or something, but yeah, that's dinner. So we dropped off mini mitts and jewels at the vet and I cleared out the blankets in the sunroom. So I'm going to wash all these before we bring them back. But I thought I would let mittens out to smell them all because <laughs> they say it's important for cats to smell each other's scents when you're introducing them, reintroducing them, whatever. And what a better way to get a scent than literally letting her sniff all the blankets they were on. <laughs> so she's going to have a little sniff session and then I gotta wash all these and then clean the sunroom. later in the day now but the sunroom is nice and clean I vacuumed I mopped and I put everything back I'm still doing blankets so so there's more blankets to be added I scattered the toys about just so they have things to play with but yeah Wolfie and Boogers are going to be here Jules and Minimets are going to be where they are and like I said before we have a heater out here so it's fine I turned it off just to record but yeah all I've been doing today is cleaning and cleaning their litter boxes so everything is fresh and doing laundry which is giving me a hard time the washer will not drain all the time so it's taking me extra long to do that but yeah I'm gonna bring the boys out here and then clean that room and by then it'll probably be time to go get the gals from the vet <laughs> Thank you. 
the main event. Huh. I think you need a new blankie. Hold on. Do you want to come out too? Watch out. Watch out. Oh, oh, oh. There you go. Come on. Come on out. <laughs> Love it looking out the window. See, I don't know if they should be stretching like that. That's not too much of a stretch, but it still makes me nervous. But again, I can't keep them off of everything. They're cats, they're kittens. So I do my best, but <laughs> they're watching the snow. See, I should be taking advantage and cleaning the crate. Then I see them looking all cute and I'm like, I gotta record this. <laughs> what do you think of the snow? Be careful, Minnie Mitts. They've been doing good since their surgery. They had it on Tuesday. Today's Thursday. I did not vlog yesterday because it was just too much going on. And same with Tuesday, I think. I don't know. I don't know the last time I vlogged, but they're doing good. They're in the crates when I'm not in the room, but I come in here often and let them out. Let them get food, let them get water because they make a mess with the water. And as I keep changing the blanket, if I put it in the crate and also their food, I just don't like having the food in there with the litter because it's clumping litter. That just doesn't seem like a good idea. So I let them out often. Ah, no, no. There's a screen in there and I don't want them to get stuck. But yeah, they're doing good. They have a lot of a time with each other. And I think they'll be fine as long as they don't fight or play too rough. Not fight. They never really fight. But as long as they don't go nuts when they play, I think they'll be fine. He's so say I think you'll be fine. All right. I got to finish cleaning. Okay. Okay. So this first song we're going to do is so explicit that we can't put it in the explicit session. Okay. So I got an hour workout, ate lunch, and now we're back to check on the kitties, let them out, let them get some out time. I ain't so boo-boos. Hi. Let me see, where's, you sleeping? Oh, I know, I wanna come out? I'm gonna come out, get some food, walk around. I know, you too. Come on. Oh, are you going to clean your sister? Just don't bite her. Sometimes Jewel seems like super affectionate and then she just like bites whoever. Hey, no biting. Let me pet you too. I pet you too. And then I pet you. Look at the little shame bellies. Well, one shame belly. You can't really see your shape, buddy, because you got a lot of hair. Yeah. So it's much later in the day. It is almost 5.30. And I didn't vlog since earlier because I've just been busy trying to get stuff done. Doing a lot of laundry. So much laundry. So many blankets and normal laundry. And then checking on Minnie Mitts and Jewels and the other cats. Make sure everybody gets enough attention. So, yeah. It's... If anybody asks me what I'm doing or like, why are you busy or why can't you do this? My answer is going to be cats. That's literally the truth. But I did want to sit down for a sec and talk about making the spaghetti squash. I think I'm going to do it tonight. If I get lazy when I turn the camera off, it might be tomorrow, but you will be none the wiser because I think I'm just going to do it old school and just put some music on, show you what I'm doing. Actually, I don't know. Because I used to make spaghetti squash in the microwave. And the microwave is not super clean. It's okay, but it, I don't know if I want to put it on the internet. Because I used to, like when I made it when I lived at home, I don't think I've ever made it in this house. But when I made it at home, I would use this big container. Actually, I have the big container. I just cleaned it today. It was Thanksgiving leftovers. My mom put stuffing in it. So I could do that. I could put it in the microwave. I'll, I'll show you. I, I can tell you what I'm doing without showing you the microwave. I'm really embarrassed about this microwave, if you couldn't tell. 
Um, it's on the list. Cats, you know. I think what I'm going to do is pour some of this stuff on. And this I put on lasagna before and it was really good. So I think it'd be nice just drizzled over it. Maybe some nooch. I don't know. I'll show you. You'll see in the video. But another thing I did today was finally take the Halloween decoration style. It is December 7th. I guess it was time. So I can show you the tree super quick. So I know you're all dying to see the same tree every year. Here we go. Before I talk about the tree, let me remind you that earlier in the week I said I have to put laundry away that was in the living room. I did not and now there is more. So let's not acknowledge that right now. But yeah, this is a tree. It's not the best tree. We got this, I think, in 2017 because the first year we moved in, 2016, we had a real one. It was huge, too big. I think there's a vlog of me dragging it out the back door. <laughs> I think I still have that up. But then in 2017, I wasn't feeling good. I wasn't feeling good enough to go get a tree. And Greg doesn't care enough to go and do it. So we got this one. It was a Walmart tree. We ordered it online, mom picked it up and brought it here and it's in three pieces, okay? So today, and I thought of this while I was putting it together, while I was fluffing the branches, I was like, this better work. Well, I plug it in, I do it step by step, then plug the big one in and the middle piece did not light up. So what I did was I found a colored string that I had and I put that on but you could still tell so I looked in the box where I had the Christmas decorations and there was a small string of white Christmas lights I don't know why I have that but it worked perfectly it filled the gap and you can't even tell and then I liked the colored lights so I put them back on too and then of course I do a little bit here I do a little bit over there and yeah I don't think the cats are going to get into anything this year because currently I will talk about this in the next vlog more but well let me turn this around just because one Minnie Mitts and Jules just got spayed you know that already two Mittens is not adjusting well to reuniting with her kittens so I feel like it's going to be a slow merge and as you can see that wall is not done yet so I have to work on that that will be next vlog I want to document that and we have to get rid of some stuff in here too, like Greg's records, unless he wants them scratched to bits. I told him he should probably find a different spot for them. This um, stand here that I made, it has like wedding stuff on it and it's cute. I like it, but I feel like it kind of served its purpose for when I put it together because that is not held up sturdy. And if the cat hops on it, it's all going to tumble and probably hurt the cat. So that's gonna go but next vlog that's next vlog so everything like I said everything's gonna be slow like I said the kittens they all were together before the surgeries and before boogers wound and everything else so things just kind of got derailed and they have not been going as smoothly as I hoped they would be but you know what's new <laughs> what is new so yeah all that will be talked about more in the next vlog but for now enjoy the old school spaghetti squash compilation cooking video cue the fun cooking music now Behind this mask 